This tiny blue pill is fentanyl, a drug so lethal even the tiniest dose can kill you. It's been found in everything from marijuana to cocaine to heroin. Here on Vancouver's downtown east side, fentanyl by itself or mixed with other drugs is rampant. Kimberly, originally from Bella Bella, has been on the downtown east side for the last five years. She's been using heroin off and on for the last 19 years. Now, she doesn't know if that heroin is mixed with fentanyl. Are you afraid that the next dose could be linked with fentanyl? It could be your last I've dose. had a couple, actually. So. Yeah. Um, I quit in December, and I was clean for like four months, maybe March, April, and then... I don't know, we ended up drinking and I ended up using again and I was in my mom's bathroom and I just totally like fell over and they had to Narcan me and everything and so that's happened already and I've seen it with a lot of my friends and my mom's cousin just passed away. In fact, there were 16 overdoses in just 20 minutes just recently in BC from fentanyl. And according to this medical health officer, there are a number of reasons why this drug has become so dangerous. What we think is driving this increase is illicitly manufactured fentanyl uh, that's being sold as heroin, being sold as other opiates, potentially even contaminating stimulants. And so people are getting a drug they're not expecting in a dose they're not expecting, and it's leading them to overdose. Fentanyl is an opioid 100 times more powerful than morphine. The problem is it's cheap and can be easily ordered from illicit drug labs in China. Dealers then mix fentanyl with other drugs. Fentanyl is very fast acting, so usually the overdose will happen quite quickly. The Insight Safe Injection Facility tested some of their clients' drugs they had just purchased on the street recently. Uh, in the first month of testing, we found that 86% of the drugs that were checked there were positive for fentanyl, and the rate was even higher for uh, when they te reported testing heroin. So, um, you know, drugs on the street are very contaminated, but. But also this, this drug checking program is not designed to uh, find out how much fentanyl is on the street because this is sort of a voluntary program and it's a bit biased who, who tests. Uh, but it's supposed to give drug users information uh, about their personal exposure to, to fentanyl. The relative of Kimberly's, who died from a fentanyl overdose, was honored at a recent memorial. Her name was Gina Nelson. She was a mother and 59 years old. She died here at this Hastings Street rooming house. I'm going to light a candle for, uh, for her spirit to help her uh, go to the other side and feed her for the next four days and bring everything um, in ceremony so she goes to the spirit world, to the creator. For C.J. Julian, a street support worker on the downtown east side, she says there is not enough being done. I feel like the justice system is failing our people. You know, like I see these drug dealers and it's just, I want to like grab them and like, are you killing another brother or my sister today? Recently, the Vancouver Police Department provided naloxone kits to their officers who encounter fentanyl almost every day. Health officials are also making the same kits available at schools and walk-in clinics, hoping to prevent more overdoses. Like it's everywhere, there's nothing people can do, it's just try and stay safe, I guess. But it's not going to stop you from mm, I don't think so. Tina House, APTN National News, Vancouver.